Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 416 Scout Rifle in Ghost Recon Breakpoint and how you're actually able to obtain this weapon, how it stacks up against some other ARs in its class, including how this weapon stacks up against the M4A1 Tactical that you get at level 47 of the Battle Rewards. Because I know a lot of people are grinding through those Battle Rewards trying to get to that M4A1 Tactical and we're going to be talking about how the 416 scout stacks up against that weapon also in today's video but real quick before we jump into it if you guys go on to enjoy the video a like rating would be super appreciated also if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any future uploads we actually hit 50,000 subscribers last night and i cannot be happier i cannot thank you all enough for the continued support here on the channel i am truly humbled and i cannot wait to continue this journey so the 416 scout rifle and ghost recon breakpoint is obtained by completing all of the tasks that are tied to the field medic class. So once you pick a class in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you need to do certain tasks, then this will level up individual classes in the game. And once you reach max level on the field medic class, you will unlock the 416 Scout, which to be honest, I believe is one of the best, if not the best weapons in the game currently. So for those of you that do not know how to switch your class, you need to go to your nearest bivouac and scroll over to the tactics tab. And in here, this is where you're going to select which class you want to use, noting that that class must be unlocked in the skill tree to be able to switch to it in the tactics tab. Once you do that, it's going to be pretty straightforward on the tasks you need to complete to rank up each individual class. When it comes to the field medic, the more notable and difficult one that I've seen people talking about is killing three enemies in less than three seconds. And I'm going to show you guys here real quick the easiest way to do that, and that is with the sink shot drones. All you need to do is make sure you have two of those sink shot drones on you. That way you can take out the third person and this will give you three kills in less than three seconds. You just need to make sure that you craft more of those sink shot drones if you want to do more of these. But there are several times when you can kind of run across guards that are unsuspecting and take all three of them out in less than three seconds. But sometimes it is quite difficult and this is definitely the best way to do it by using your sink shot drones. So now moving on to the 416 scout and the gunsmith. More notably, you guys can see that it does 29 damage, but it does have a red arrow next to it. That is simply because I have a suppressor equipped on this weapon right now. And you will also notice that I fully upgraded upgraded this weapon to Mark III, so this is going to give you all three passives, which are plus 10 handling after a kill, plus 10 reload speed after a kill, as well as you're going to get plus 3% crouch speed at all times, which if you're trying to be sneaky is definitely very helpful. Also, you guys will notice that you cannot put an extended magazine on this weapon. You can have the standard and a small magazine, being the fact that the standard has 30 rounds. This should not be an issue. Next, we have the standard muzzle attachments. We have the flash hider, the standard muzzle, the suppressor, the compensator, as well as the muzzle break. Being a stealth player, I most of the time run a suppressor, and it does not really hurt this weapon that much having it suppressed. Even though it does take 20% damage away from the weapon, it is still a very, very good weapon with a suppressor. Next, we have the rail attachments, and I really am not going to get too far into this, because if you are not using the mall laser, then I have no idea what you're doing with your life. And last but not least, we have the scopes, and the first thing you guys will notice is down at the bottom, we have the TA31H site unlocked, which is the ACOG scope, because for those of you guys that did not know, in yesterday's update they actually added this attachment to the store and you can currently buy it for 1000 scale credits which is the in-game currency not the real currency so that is an absolute steal especially on the dmrs in this game the acog scope is by far the best site to use and now moving on to a little bit of a weapon comparison because i know a lot of people were curious how the 416 scout stacked up against the m4a1 tactical that you get from the battle rewards so by comparing these two rifles you will find out that in single shot mode and burst mode one one weapon is definitely better than the other. So if you are wanting to use these weapons in burst mode, I would highly recommend the M4A1 Tactical because it has very little recoil in burst mode, but the 416 Scout has an insane amount of recoil when it comes to the burst fire mode. But when you switch it over to the single fire mode, the M4A1 Tactical is very accurate, but it does have a lot more bullet drop off than the 416 Scout. And the 416 Scout in semi-auto mode definitely shines. It is insanely accurate and it has a really good damage fall off range. So depending Depending on how you want to use this weapon, if you want to use it in a burst fire mode, I would strongly suggest the M4A1 Tactical. If you want to use it in the semi-auto fire mode, I would strongly recommend using the 416 Scout. But overall, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. I just wanted to give you guys a rundown of the 416 Scout, how you could get the weapon, kind of give you guys a brief overview of the weapon if you have not already had a chance to get your hands on it. But like I said, that's all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys learned something, you guys are excited about going and checking out the 416 Scout, make sure to drop a like on the video. 
and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on the latest information surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.